I don't know how to explain it, but this does feel like the whitest thing I've ever done. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda. You're watching Swell Entertainment, and today we are talking about doggy DNA tests. Why? Honestly, I've always wanted to try one. <laughs> no one really requested this. Um, I mean, well, I shouldn't say no one requested this. Someone probably has, because if you don't know, one of the very first I tried it so you don't have to videos was me trying 23andMe. And it also led to my favorite hate comment, or I shouldn't say hate comment, criticism comment of all time, where the title was called, I tried 23andMe so you don't have to. Obviously, logically, and I say in the video, everyone's genetics are different, so I'm gonna get a different result than you are, but I was talking about the experience of 23andMe. Someone commented that obviously they weren't gonna watch this video because obviously my title was stupid because everyone's DNA is different. So therefore I can't try it so they don't have to because everyone is different DNA. Honestly, I have the, I think the comments pinned on that video. I kind of want to put it on a shirt or something. It's my favorite comment ever. <laughs> but really quick, Hermes and I are going to tell you about our channel sponsor, vidIQ Boost. I have been using vidIQ for years to help keep track of my channel analytics, as well as making sure I don't miss anything on uploads for videos. And now if you sign up through my link with them, you'll get vidIQ Boost for 30 days for just $1. With vidIQ Boost, you get 50 video ideas a day, keyword recommendations, title recommendations, and my personal favorite, you can see how your thumb thumbnail will look next to other thumbnails in the same topic. Now, vidIQ Boost is not going to make the video for you, but it can be a great place to start if you're having trouble coming up with ideas. If you want to take your channel to the next level, go ahead and click the link in my description box to get vidIQ Boost for 30 days for $1. Hermes was going through his first round of dog training because he's a little psychopath. There was actually uh, another schnauzer, another miniature schnauzer in the class. And uh, it was a group class, but eventually it's LA. Everyone stopped going. So it ended up being a private class, just me and this menace. For a while, there was another mini schnauzer in there. And this mini schnauzer, though they were about the same age and Hermes is a boy and her dog was a girl, they were very different in size. This dog was like a third of Hermes' size. And so stop licking the microphone. So though I know Hermes is a schnauzer. He's pretty standard for a schnauzer. And miniature schnauzers are actually on the larger end, the larger size of the miniature breeds, okay? Of the small dog breeds. He is considered still a small dog, even though he's a little fat boy. This other dog, I was like fairly certain was either a runt that had been bred multiple times as a runt or was just bred with like a chihuahua or something. This dog was pretty small. And so we were talking about doggy DNA tests because Hermes also has a little stumpy tail. And so I was like, I don't know, maybe he is bred with something else because he's got his little stumpy tail. And most schnauzers Schnauzers I know have like the long tail, like the little swoop. And the schnauzer that we had when I was a kid had a little swoop tail. I got him as a puppy. It was never amputated. There was no signs of amputation or anything like that. He's just got a little stumpy Joe tail. But I thought maybe that would indicate that maybe he was mixed with something down the line or something. They knew I was a YouTuber and we were talking about doing a test and they, the dog trainer shared that, oh yeah, my friend did that for her dog. And their result came back is like 99% Mexican street dog. I was like, is that a breed? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thought that was interesting. And I was like, okay, well, I don't think Hermes is 99% Mexican street dog. I think he's at least 99% miniature schnauzer. I mean, I knew he was a schnauzer. I wasn't expecting different. I know he's a miniature schnauzer. That's not up for debate. I know he is. He, lo he looks like a little old man. He's a miniature schnauzer. It's like when I did 23andMe. I know I'm white. That's not up for debate. <laughs> not knowing which percentage of which European countries I came from and the amount of inbreeding that happened down the line. You know, like I, I'll be fine without knowing that. So I wanted to do this as a review, but also I wanted to use Hermes as sort of a control group because Hermes obviously is a miniature schnauzer. However, my dad's girlfriend, Lisa, has a service dog named Rosie and we have no idea what she was or was, I guess you could say. Now I know because we've done the test, but we had no idea what she was and no vet could really give us a definitive answer of what she was. And so I was like, okay, this will be good because we'll get a baseline for Hermes. He'll be a schnauzer, we know that. And then that'll let us kind of give us a, a, a barometer of what Rosie might be. We are reviewing the Wisdom Panel and Embark. I figured two would probably be good because it's my understanding that these tests, at least for DNA tests for humans, they go off of the samples of what they have. 
And so some people have said, oh, well, I know I have at least this percentage of this in my ancestry. But then when I did this ancestry.com thing or whatever, they don't show any of that because they can only base it off of the DNA samples that they have. They only have what they can compare it to, I think. I don't entirely know what it did. And I haven't done that test since 2018. So I don't know. But that being said, so there's those two. Embark and wisdom panel. Here's all the footage of us doing the swabs. So this is breed and health. And then I think this is just everything. Essential dog DNA collection kit. We're gonna do both. And we're gonna see how well Hermes gets through the swabs. Cause I think we have to do swabs. Also, yes, Hermes did this. I'm gonna put patch over it. We're trying to get him to stop. It's not working super well. Welcome to Embark Pack. We're getting ready to analyze your dog's DNA using our research grade genotyping platform built by our scientists in partnership with the Cornell University College of Veterinary Medicine. Visit embarkvet.com slash activate. Okay, so let me do that really quick. I gotta get the iPad. We'll go out in a minute, I promise. Tell us a fun fact about your dog. He's a menace to society. What's your dog's breed? Schnauzer. No. Told you he's an asshole. Primary registry. I have to, that sounds like a trap. Why am I giving you the dog's information? That sounds like a trap. Hermes, are you going to be investigated by the IRS? Is that why they want all this information? Should I, have you committed a crime? You know what? I'm not going to give him his registration number. I'm going to do this on purpose because he is registered with uh, the American Kennel Club, but I'm not gonna give the registration number, I think, because I don't wanna give them like a cop out. At a profile picture, optional, we're not doing that. Sorry, Hermes, they don't get they don't get to cheat. What is the, the vet clinic's name? I think 23andMe got less information out of me than this. Is this a doggy census? Is that what this is? So I have to activate first, then swap. This says, okay, activate. Example, code is, I'm not telling you the code, obviously. I want this dog's data to contribute to medical and scientific research. Yeah, you know what, in the name of dogs, I will allow you to be a part of research. Make sure it's been 30 minutes since your pup last ate. That was five minutes ago, so I have to wait. Okay, so. So this one's just little swabs, and yeah, I have to let it air dry for five minutes, which is weird, but we're gonna do this one first. So come here, prop this down so they can see you. Okay, are you ready? Open here, hang on. Okay, you ready? Ah, I gotta go in your mouth gotta go in your mouth. Open, I'm worried he's gonna gnaw on it. So like, I gotta figure out the best way to do this. Let me get in there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, come here, let me get you. <laughs> no, come here. You're not allowed to eat the swab. He's gonna try and eat the swab. Okay, ready? Ah. Rosie's gonna be so good at this and you're, <laughs> I can't see where your mouth, <laughs> your appearance too scrappy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect, okay. So now I'm supposed to put this in, which is covered in doggy slobber. I'm supposed to flip this around inside and then shake it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We'll do that putting away in a minute. But we're gonna do this one now. So I have to do both swabs. This is the container that it goes back in, which I do think is odd. I have to air, the, air dry these, so this is gonna be weird, okay. Let's see how you let me do this. Okay, ready? Can I please come into your mouth? <laughs> let me swab you. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know if that's in your mouth or if that's in your beard. Okay, hang on. I love you so much. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Boom. Come here. I love you. It's I'm not a doctor, I promise. Okay. Done. Please look at this dog. I'm sorry, Hermes. Do you feel violated? Are you alright? <laughs> Come here. I love you. Hi. I love you. Okay. I'm tired. Not mad at me. I don't think. What you guys saw we were in Hermes. Okay. I can. <laughs> A backseat YouTuber. What we're dealing with here. Rosie is Lisa's service dog, so she's a very good working girl. And if you see her looking off camera, it's because Lisa's sitting right over there. And so she's just checking in, doing her job, being good. It's okay, Rosie. Where are you going? Alrighty. Come here. Let's see, go. she's she's sitting over by Lisa now. Come here, Rosie. 
Come here, girly. Come here, girly pop. Hi, you're such a good girl. Can I get your teeth? Come here. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Come here. Ready? I'm gonna do your cheek. Up. Ah. One, two. I gotcha. <laughs> I have no idea if this is even in frame. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> boop, boop. I know, it feels weird. Okay, I think that's fine. I got a pretty good twist. Can I get your mouth? No? Do you wanna lay down? You can lay down. We can totally do that. It's like negotiating with a bear. She I'm just does. like, watch, Rosie's gonna be so good to bear compared to her. <laughs> Hi, I know, this is like the vet and you're like, fuck this. Come here. I gotcha, let me get in there. Uh, Rosie. uh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, a little bit more. Come here. Come on. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hermes is our baseline. Because Hermes, we know, is a miniature schnauzer. I just think he's mixed with something else. But Rosie, we yes, know for Satan. Mouth is open. Thank you. I got one side. Let me get the other. Rosie. See, you're such a good girl. I'm not at all worried that my face is right by your big mouth. <laughs> Hermes, I'd be freaking out. Is that enough, you think? Uh, it's got to be super wet. wet. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you. So that's a little more tongue than like cheek cells, but let's see. Come here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then I got to shake it like a Polaroid picture. And I actually haven't registered these yet, so I'm going to go do that okay. now. Uh, because I wanted, because Rosie was getting antsy, so obviously we wanted to get her, get this done so she can get treats. And we will update you when we have results. So for wisdom panel for Hermes, um, let's see. Drum roll. One breed detected. Hermes appears to be 100% miniature schnauzer. Oh, two close relatives. Oh, Olivia and Sophia. Cool. We got one sister. Which I believe I knew that because when I got him, I was told that he had a sister. Extended family, Rockies Creek Sweet Saving Grace. That's a really long name, 19% same. And then these also both tell uh, little tests. So for health, we didn't uh, detect any known genetic health predispositions in Hermes DNA. 29 tests are clear. 39 genetic trait tests on Hermes, all were clear. First, we learned he's a very good boy. But here's what else we found. Okay, full trades tested, let's see. Coat color, we found one special coat color gene in Hermes, 10 points, one copy, 10 points, tan points possible. He does have little tan specks in him. If you guys ever see him up close, which you probably won't because he hates everyone but me and my father, we are working on it. Oh no, I should take that back. He loves the employees at daycare, specifically the manager, he is obsessed with her. That's like the only people he likes. Hairlessness, <laughs> genetically, it's unlikely Hermes is hairless. You don't say. Hermes ideal weight range, 11 to 22 pounds. Cool, you little fat boy at 20 pounds, you're in the average weight size. Yay, oh, he laid down all cuddly. He's so cute. So Rosie's DNA results, I actually did with Lisa and Rosie at Lisa's place. We thought that was a better idea uh, because she was very excited. She was like, I don't wanna wait for the video, I wanna know. So what do you think Rosie is? Oh, I think she's part German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. I think she might have some chow because her spotted, purple spotted tongue. And I also think she could be uh, some kind of husky because she goes nuts every time she sees an Alaskan husky. So I don't know, but that's my best guess. From Embark, for context, Hermes, uh, one breed was detected. Right. Some, some A little bit of uh, schnauzer inbreeding in Hermes, okay? <laughs> in Rosie, there are six breeds detected. No. 29% American Pitbull Terrier. Whoa! 21% <laughs> boxer, 14% German Shepherd dog. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, you have to say dog. <laughs> and then 11% Chow Chow. Wow. So there is the Chow in there. She's 10% Rottweiler, which I guess because of the coloring. In oh, her face. yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. And I've never heard of this 12% Superman, which means. Super what? Superman. Which I think is their way of saying Mexican street dog. I think so. <laughs> well, you are a super mutt. So apparently she does have one variant that you should let her vet know about. Uh, ALT alanine 
and then you have transferase activity. Rosie inherited both copies of the variant when tested, maybe lower than normal her baseline ALT levels. Why is this important to your vet? Rosie has two copies of a variant in the GPT gene and is likely to have a lower than average baseline ALT level. ALT is commonly used to measure the liver health on routine veterinary blood chemistry panels. Currently, there are no other relatives on Embark. Wisdom also said that Hermes is 100% Schnauzer. Rosie, ooh. Apparently, wisdom is a little more uh, detailed. This says 12 breeds detected Whoa. in Rosie's results. <laughs> 25% Boxer. So 19% American Pitbull Terrier, which is also what Embark said. American Staffordshire Terrier, 13%. 12% Rottweiler, which is 2% higher than the other one. Mm -hmm. And 8% Chow Chow. Here's what Rosie's family might have looked like. So parents, probably American Pitbull Terrier mix, American Staffordshire Terrier mix, Boxer, Rottweiler mix. And then it gets cut off because there's probably more. Uh, so two of those grandparents and then great, great grandparents is where all the different breeds probably came in. <laughs> so there might've been a doggy orgy at one point, Rosie, <laughs> and that's where you came from. <laughs> 16 distant relatives, but nothing extended yeah. and nothing close. Okay. Rosie, I think we've determined you are the father. <laughs> Hermes is a good boy sometimes. Rosie is the bestest girl. I love Hermes with my whole heart, but sometimes he has two settings, good boy and psychopath. Rosie's just always a very good girl. <laughs> All right, yeah, here it says 100% miniature schnauzer. So as you're gonna see in Rosie's results clip, she actually has the same variant. So I don't know if this is just something that's predisposed to them or if it's something with their testing kit. As far as the dogs go, there's no correlation to their care or anything. I know I feed Hermes a different food than uh, Lisa feeds Rosie. Uh, they're different types of dogs. I don't know if there's anything that I did when doing the collections that would lead to this result, but I mean, there's nothing that I've heard from his blood work or anything like that. So I don't know if this is just something that's common, but ALT activity is also here as well. Hermes baseline ALT may be low normal which is the same thing that Rosie said, that she might have a low normal ALT level. Alanine aminotransferases activity. Did I get that right? For No, forase. Aminotransferase activity. I was like so proud of myself for a second. I was gonna call my friend who's a literal chemist and be like, guess what I pronounced right? Now that Rosie and Hermes have both been told they have it, unless it's incredibly common, I don't know if that's a correct test. I mean, if anything, that either tells me that the test is something or it's something that I did in the collection that they both had that result because the only other connection between them is me doing the collection for those tests. So various things that they test for health summary, um, breed rela relevant genetic conditions, three variants not detected, additional genetic conditions, 219 uh, not detected. Persistent malaria and duct syndrome, PMDS, identified in miniature showers, variant not detected. You're all clear to go from PMDS, bubs. More health information, inbreeding and diversity. Learn how inbred your dog is. Wait, will that tell me? Genetic result. Coefficient of inbreeding, 25%. Our genetic COI measures the proportion of your dog's genome, his genes, where the genes on the mother's side are identical by descent to those on the father's side. The higher your dog's coefficient of in inbreeding is the percentage, the more inbred your dog is. 25%, is that good or bad? So he's considered a purebred dog. Is that why you're an asshole? I love that there's a full on markup of this. Did you know? Are you a fan of the pop culture series and hit television show <laughs> Game of Thrones? Pedigree based estimates of Daener Daenerys Targaryen COI is estimated to be roughly 37.5% in comparison the highly inbred Spanish Habsburg line when extinct with King Charles II, who had a pedigree based estimate of 25.4. Hermes, you have the same COI as King Charles II. <laughs> Thank you for this information, but that makes it worse, honestly. Oh God, now I gotta check Rosie's. I didn't even see that on Rosie's. Got a range of health surveys, I think. I'm sorry, I gotta check Rosie's. Oh, I can get a, a certificate of the fact that you're an inbred dog. <laughs> Inbreeding and diversity. Watch hers be 2% or something. Her result is also 25%. Now I'm getting suspicious. Why is it also 25%? Hermes was 25%. Is that just an average percentage? Rosie is considered a mixed breed dog overall. Like Hermes is just a miniature schnauzer. Rosie's considered mixed breed. So yeah, most mixed breeds dog have a 0%. It's very common apparently for schnauzers to be inbred, but for mixed breeds, it's not super common. So she's 25% inbred allegedly. All in all, 
This was fun. In particular, Lisa got a lot of joy out of this. She was telling me how excited she was. She's been asking me for a week, like, are the results in yet? So all in all, this was fun to do. Uh, if you have a mixed breed dog and you're really not sure, obviously Hermes, I knew he was a Schauser. As far as the health breakdowns, I mean, I think they're useful if they're correct. Rosie and Hermes having the same results from Embark. A little suspicious. Anyone else has ever done Embark? If you also got 25% and high ALT activity, please let me know because that's curious is all I'm gonna say. I don't think either one was better or worse. As far as pricing goes for both, I can show you both of those. For two of the wisdom panels, I got $49 off because of a sale they were having. Both tests for $149.99. There was no shipping and there was no taxes and I saved $49. So the total across the board was $149.99 for Embark. So they did it so that if you bought one kit, it was one amount and then you got an additional kit for a discount. So one kit was $159. The other other one was 135. Uh, and so in total, it was actually 294 for the Embark kits. So more money all around. Yeah. So I got the essential that's usually $99. Uh, they were doing a $75 sale. Now it looks like I'm assuming that's also what I got. And that's why I got the $49 off or they were both $99. They have other kits as well. They have the breed discovery and then the wisdom panel premium. And that one's $120 with the sale currently. This one is uh, currently $127 with code pumpkin. That's cute, but it's usually $199. So all in all, uh, Embark overall is more extensive, my guess is. Um, um, and this is just because it does more tests, but they also don't have the cheaper test, I don't think. All in all, would I recommend you doing this? Um, if you have a mixed breed dog and you really have no idea what type of dog you have. Yes, I think it's fun. I think as far as health tests go, take your dog to the vet. I don't think that you should ever substitute actual medical professionals. I have another friend, we have no idea what her dog is. It's the running joke, cutest little dog. Uh, her name is Coco. She's got a little like, we call her a little Ewok. She's adorable. No idea what she is. Zero idea. I might get her one of these kits because I think that'll be fun. Have you ever done a doggy DNA test? Do you think it's stupid? Do you also agree that this might be the widest thing I've ever done? Reminder, I have a podcast. This Welsh man's podcast It's on hiatus, but I have podcasts. Reminder, I have merch like that mug back there. Reminder, I live on the street and my neighbors drive by super loud. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. If you also support my Patreon, the links are down below. Like to me on my social media. That'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. I do think it's interesting that both of these have puppies on the front of them when you can do this with a full grown dog. There's nothing wrong with doing it with like a full grown dog. Rosie's four, Hermes is one, you know, like there's no reason you have to do puppies. So I don't know why, is this just like a marketing thing? Like cute factor? Thank you, Alan, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Chris P, Crash PC, China, Dirty One, Don, LA, Evan, Eric, Eyal, Hopeless, Incognito, Jackery, James, Joe, John, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kim, Kristen, Lam, Lex, Lisa, Luis, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew S, Meme Lord, Michael, Michael, Jane, Micah, Nathan, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Richard, Rob, Red, Robert Ross, Sam, Serena, Skylar, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Heavenly, Plastic, Tom, Cordy, Randy, Wendy, Williams, Andrews, Wink.